If I drop this bouncy ball from here, it bounces to about half the height I dropped it from. And if I drop this bouncy ball from here, it also bounces to about half the height I dropped it from. If I stack them and drop them, this bouncy ball bounces a lot higher. When we look at the kinetics of what's going on, we can separate these into two separate objects. This collides with the desk first, then bounces up. Then this bounces off this bouncy ball that's already moving. According to conservation of momentum, when an object elastically collides with a much larger object, it's going to be reflected with about the same speed that it hit with. So when we drop this ball from here, it's going to be reflected with a certain speed. This ball is a lot smaller than this ball, so it's also going to be reflected with the speed that it collides with. Except this ball is already moving up, so that reflection is going to add the speed of this ball to the speed of this ball. And then that speed is going to be reflected, giving this ball three times the speed that it would have had if it collided with the desk.